and I'm glad that Sri Govind was here. He spent one and a half months with Trinity. It was an extraordinary experience for us as well because one of the instructions that was given to everyone who interacted with him was just let him be. Only if he breaks something, we'll interfere. Let him just learn on his own. So he worked on a drone, assembled it, and at that time the college acquired a PCB printing machine, circuit board printing, and he took the initiative. He said he wanted to learn it and he sat around and learned it. And I remember that he used to take the lunch break with our BTEC students and alumni, and he was traveling with them all. And that kind of exposure we wish we all had when we were preparing for a career in that path, and that makes a big difference. Uh, I'm happy to have uh, Ijaz also here. Uh, we are part of a Young Indians group, and uh, as you might understand, I have become a great evangelist for Green Valley and Green Valley's uh, way of education, because uh, I am one of the colleges that Sir mentioned, where we are suffering from the quality of the students that we are getting where they expect us to teach them everything and finally get them a job. So that at the end of it, we, we are a community that is prone to compromising. So he mentioned about pushing the boundaries. Who sets these boundaries? We set it ourselves by thinking this is what a third standard student should do. This is what a B.Tech girl should do. That comes from us. Last week, I listened to uh, K.K. Agarwal who is the chairman of National Board of Accreditation. He was in Kerala. He was talking to the government because none of the colleges in Kerala are accredited by NBA. So he was suggesting changes. He said when he visited Stanford, <coughs> the faculty there told him that colleges, educational institutions in India, we are obsessed with this thing called campus placement. We are only worried about how many students are immediately getting a job as soon as they are graduating and everybody measures the quality of a college based on that, any educational institution. And they said, in Stanford, we judge our worth by where our graduates are 25 years after they have left Stanford. Because that's the spark we have given them and we need to see them as leaders and creators of jobs entrepreneurs, scientists, Nobel laureates, Olympic gold medalists, 25 years. So we don't care what they did. Did they get into TCS Infosys where they took in a truck outside for Infosys Learning Campus? That's not the purpose at all. So that's what I think we should judge Green Valley also by. Not by what Green Valley students are going to do immediately as they get out. Of course, they'll do fantastic things when they get out. But I'm sure whenever I smile at the boy and girl I see here, that I'm smiling at somebody who will be a leader for the nation, for the world, 25 years down the line. Thank you very much. <laughs>